All right, I'm going to show you how to get started with the software on a Windows machine. So here is a uh, window onto a Windows machine from my Macintosh, just so I can capture this uh, nicely. And so what you're going to do on your Windows machine is go to the IOLab website. Here it is, uh, IOLab.science. And the first thing you need to do is to download the driver. So you click on the driver link and you click on the driver version that you want, whether you're running a 64-bit machine or a 32-bit machine. I've already done so, it's right here. Um, then you go to the application link over here and you download the latest Windows software. It's this top link right here. I've already done that as well. It's waiting for me right there. So I'm gonna make the uh, web page go away. There we go. Um, <clears throat> all right, so the first thing you're gonna do is uh, install the driver. So you right click on this file and you say run as administrator. And you just agree to everything. As it turns out, it's not installing a driver at all. Um, the driver is already on the computer. It just has to tell Windows to use the driver that actually Windows created for the virtual COM port. So that's a little silly. Uh, but it does so pretty quickly. And then you just say finish. Uh, if it asks you questions and asks for your permission, just agree to everything. Um, OK. So now the next thing you're going to do is you are going to plug the dongle into your Mac for the very first, I mean your PC for the first time. So what I mean by that is on the back of the IOLab device here, I grab this USB dongle, I push in on one side, the other side pops out, here it is. I now plug it into my, um, my PC and you won't get this unless you're running it on a Mac that's running Windows, like me, if you're running on a Windows machine now, it'll just tell you that it's installing the, the um, device driver. The very first time you do this on a machine, it may take uh, a little while to do this. So while it's doing this, uh, let's go to the application folder that we also got from the website. It's right here. And it's a zip file. So we can't run things inside the zip file. So I'm just going to go in the zip file and I'm going to extract the folder and just copy it to the desktop like this. And so there we go. It's now taking uh, the application which is inside this folder and is putting it on my desktop. You can put it anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be on your desktop. Uh, you don't need this zip file anymore. So we can just delete that. Okay. Now we see that uh, the driver has been installed. So now to actually run the software, which we can do once the driver has been installed. We just enter the folder, which I attempted to move just now. Okay, and inside this folder you'll see a file called iolabcef.bat, uh, and you just double click on that, and you agree to run. Everything is fine, and uh, the application will start. And once it gets started here, you'll see that it recognizes the dongle. Uh, I turn on the power to the device, which I just did, by pushing the on switch on the red IOLab device, and it recognizes the device here as well. And uh, now I can do things like uh, record data, by clicking on the sensor I want and clicking on record. I can stop by clicking on stop, and so on.